Electrolysis of Molten Zinc Chlorides by kscience.com The electrolysis of molten zinc chloride is carried out using a cell or power pack, supplying a direct current. This power pack is connected to two electrodes. This electrode on the right, where I'm drawing the negative signs, is the negative electrode. And the electrode on the left is the positive electrode, as I'm drawing the positive signs. The negative electrode is known as the cathode, and the positive electrode is known as the anode. The chemical formula of zinc chloride is ZnCl2. I'm writing L for liquid, as the zinc chloride is molten. Molten means it is a very hot liquid. As it is a liquid, the ions are free to move. This container contains the electrolytes, which the electrodes are dipped into with space in between. The zinc chloride is the electrolyte, and the electrolyte is just the ionic compound which is being broken down. A bulb and ammeter can both be used to show an electric current is flowing. If there is, the bulb will emit light and the ammeter will show readings. Remember, electrolysis uses electricity to break down the ionic compound. If the electric current cannot flow around the circuit, then the ionic compound will not break down. The electrolyte is composed of a ratio of one Zn2 plus cation to two Cl minus anions. The Zn2 plus cations are attracted to the cathode, where each zinc ion gains two electrons to become a zinc atom. Shiny solid zinc coats the cathode. However, because the electrolyte is still a hot molten liquid, some of the zinc will form as a liquid where it will settle at the bottom. And yellow-green chlorine gas forms at the anode. Each chloride anion loses one electron to form chlorine atoms. They then form chlorine molecules, which is toxic. So this experiment needs to be carried out in a fume cupboard in the laboratory. The balanced symbol equation to show what has actually happened is ZnCl2 alpha liquid reacts to form Zn and then you can write S slash L because a solid and a liquid form and chlorine gas forms Cl2 G for gas. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to focus on how the electrolysis of molten zinc chloride is carried out in the laboratory. The zinc chloride is placed in a crucible where a Bunsen burner is used to heat the ionic compound. The zinc chloride, ZnCl2, melts from a solid into a molten liquid. Inert electrodes connected to a DC supply are dipped into the electrolyte. Zinc chloride is an ionic compound containing zinc cations and chloride anions. Because the electrolyte is molten, the ions are free to move. The zinc cations are attracted to the cathode and the chloride anions are attracted to the anode. So the anions are attracted to the anode and the cations are attracted to the cathode. We can use half equations to explain what is happening in terms of electrons at each electrode. At the cathode, Zn2 plus ions gain two electrons to become zinc atoms. Reduction has taken place because electrons have been gained. Yellow-green chlorine gas forms at the anode where a Cl- anion loses an electron to form Cl2 
plus one electron. To balance this, we put a big two in front of the electron as two electrons have been lost from two chloride anions. So we also put a big two in front of the chloride anion. Electrons have been lost, so this is oxidation. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Around this cathode, the zinc is a shiny silver solid, and at the bottom of the container is a liquid. The zinc is a molten liquid at the bottom of the container. With any experiment, we must consider the safety precautions. This is always done before carrying out any experiment in order to stay safe. This hazard symbol means toxic. Chlorine is a toxic gas. It has the potential to poison, harm, or even kill you if inhaled. It's very important to wear chemical splash proof goggles to protect the eyes. It's an absolute must to carry out the experiment in a fume cupboard. And if there are any asthmatics in the room, it's important to warn asthmatics as the chlorine gas may cause breathing problems. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets, and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.